What's up guys? I made a video a couple days ago showing you how to permanently disable Cortana in Windows 10, and today I'm going to show you some more tricks to de-bloat your Windows system. Now if you have slow startup speeds or your system starts to lag in the first few minutes after logging in, then your resources are probably being eaten up by startup programs. Startup programs are, of course, programs that start with your system, and they're a lot easier to disable than Cortana. So inside of Windows, you can right click on the taskbar here and then click on task manager and that's going to pull up the task manager and then you can go to startup and this will show you all of the programs that are starting when you log into your system and you can also see the impact that these have so this one the microsoft onedrive has a high impact meaning that out of all of the startup programs that we're using this one is going to use a little bit more ram and a little bit more cpu than the other ones but all I really need within this system is going to be my VirtualBox guest editions because as you guys know, I'm trying to just use this system for very specific purposes and I only want to use it with one thread and one gig of RAM uh, inside this virtual environment. So let's go ahead and disable that. And we'll disable that, leaving my VirtualBox guest editions alone. Now, once you've disabled your startup programs, it might also be a good idea for you to disable startup services. Now, services are different than programs because they just run in the background, so you don't really get a GUI window to interact with or anything like that. And this disabling these isn't really going to affect your uh, RAM usage dramatically, especially if you're using Windows on a real physical machine. But like I said, I'm doing it in a virtual machine with one gig of RAM, so every single megabyte is going to count. Now, you don't actually want to disable your services from inside of here because inside of... Um, Inside of this task manager, all you can actually do is disable the services, but I want to actually disable them and change their startup type to be disabled as well so that these services aren't just going to respawn when I reboot my system. So to go into the proper uh, services editor, you want to do the window key plus R shortcut, and that'll open up this run dialog box here, and you want to type services.msc into it. And then that's going to bring up the proper services manager. So I'm going to sort these by name because I think that's how I made my list of services here. Yeah, I have them sorted by name. And let's see. So here's the first one I'm going to disable, the connected user experience and telemetry. And you also get a short description up here for what it does. Now, disabling this will actually enhance your privacy a little bit because it's kind of a well-known thing at this point that Microsoft collects a lot of data from you when you're using Windows 10. Now, granted, this isn't going to make your privacy nearly as appropriate as it should be, in my opinion. Um, to really get a good handle on your privacy, you pretty much have to use a Linux system with all open source uh, software. And it also helps if you're using a minimalist system you built yourself, because if you built it yourself, you know there's no spooky shit inside of it, right? So disable it and then also go to properties. And we're going to change that startup type to disabled. So now this isn't going to start when we reboot our system either. Next is going to be the diagnostic policy. Here we go, diagnostic policy service. So we're going to stop that. Then go into properties, disable it. Now, some of these you may not want to disable on your system. Um, so far, I haven't covered anything that's really too, uh, too crazy to disable it, but this is probably going to be a little bit beyond what you guys may want to do if you're actually using Windows. Uh, let's see, diagnostic, I don't see a diagnostic tracking service. All right, I'm just gonna skip that one. Distributed link tracking, uh, here we go. So we'll disable that one. And then we'll disable the startup value. All right, 
DMW, this one's got a weird, weird name. DMW, and I don't see it, so we'll skip that one. Downloaded Maps Manager. Uh, oh, okay, that one's not even enabled. But let's just make it so that it never starts. I don't need to use any maps on this system. Okay, IP Helper. So this is one where, you know, you guys may not want to disable it. So you only want to turn this off if you're not using an IPv6 connection because you need this in order for IPv6 to work. I'm not using IPv6 inside of this virtual machine, so it's all good for me. All right, the program compatibility assistant manager or assistant service rather. All right, so we'll stop that. Um, I believe you need this in order to run things in compatibility mode on Windows. So if you're not, if you're using that, obviously don't disable this, but if you're not using that, then it's safe, it's safe to disable. Um, let's see, okay, print spooler. So this is what actually manages print jobs. So if you have a printer, if you need to print, you don't want to disable this. All right, and then we'll do the remote registry. Let's see, is this something that, yep, here it is. And that's actually already disabled. Okay, that's good. Secondary logon. I'm gonna disable that. If it isn't already. Yeah, it's already disabled, but we'll change the startup type to disabled so that it can't be manually enabled either. All right, security center. We're gonna disable that. Um. Oh, it actually won't. Let me disable it. Can I change? Nope, I can't change that either. Okay, so maybe we'll fix that in the follow-up video because some of these it looks like I'm not gonna be able to turn off. That's Windows for you. All right, this uh, TCP IP NetBIOS helper, this can be turned off. Uh, if you're in a work group network, you want to leave this on because then you will not have a network to connect to. Make that disabled. Okay. Here we go. Touch keyboard and handwriting panel service. Um... Is it not going to let me disable this either? Okay, so I can change the startup type to disabled. But it doesn't look like it gave me an option to stop it. Yeah, it's not giving me an option to stop that, so I'll have to actually reboot my computer in order for that to be turned off. Okay, themes. Let's go ahead and stop that. I think I actually manually disabled themes already because... As you can see, my uh, all the eye candy is disabled, so this shouldn't actually make any difference on my system than what it actually has already, except for just stopping the service as well. So if I wanted to re-enable my themes, then it would just be a little bit more work to do it. But I don't really care. I'm not gonna spend that much time in here. It's mostly just to test software. All right, Windows Defender Service. Actually, I wanna get rid of all of these. Probably won't let me though. Yeah, it's not gonna let me modify that. How about this one now? Okay, can't do anything about Windows Defender for now. Windows Error Reporting Service. Let's go ahead and stop that. Actually, it's already stopped. Let's just disable it though, because I don't need to do any error reporting. Uh, win Windows image acquisition. So uh, you only need this if you have a scanner. If you don't have a scanner, then you don't need to use this. Okay, 
Let me see, it's probably not gonna let me stop this one. Oh, it will, nice. So the Windows License Manager service, uh, basically that's used for managing software that you get through the Windows Store. Now, I'm not gonna be installing anything from the Windows Store. If you are, then don't disable it because it's gonna break all your software that you got in the Windows Store. And, all right, is it gonna let me stop these? Yes, so I wanna stop and disable the Windows push notifications because I don't need them. And also change their startup type to disabled. Hmm, is it not gonna let me do that? Okay, what if I change it to manual? It's not gonna let me do that either. Man, that sucks. All right, whatever. Not gonna be able to disable that push notification. Windows search, let's get rid of that. All right, and Windows update, because I actually do not really want to do any updates to this system. That's just gonna waste my time. And okay, sorry, disabled. Alrighty, so that's a bunch of services off. Of course, they're not really going to take effect until you reboot your system. So if you wanna see the effects right away, go ahead and reboot your system. But that's how to disable startup programs and a bunch of services that you don't need in Windows. Let me know if this helped you out, guys. If it did, share it with someone else who might find it useful.